So an unforgettable character finally makes his way into the roster of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle R, a Tomb Raider TV show in the works at Amazon with award-winning writer Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Season 3 of Gundam Evolution draws near, along with three new mobile suits coming up in the next few months. And last but never the least is that the three biggest console manufacturers, Nintendo, Sony, and Xbox, may not be part of E3. So join us here at Game Aid Information Station as we bring you the latest news in gaming. Rudolf von Stroheim finally gets a gameplay trailer as he's the next in line to be the newest DLC character in All-Star Battle R. Announced earlier this month, he'll be succeeding Risotto Nero as the second one to come out. For those wondering about his moveset, the fiery German Major will still have his ultraviolet weapons, projectile hand, and of course that ridiculous machine gun. Rudolf von Stroheim will be released on February 3 as a standalone DLC and will have an even earlier release date for those who already have the season pass. I mean, it's JoJo. We're always hyped for anything about it. But Strawheim in particular isn't really the kind of character that's easy to forget. So we're super f***ing ready to let this dude show us the pinnacle of German engineering. The streak of great gaming adaptations may continue, as award-winning writer Phoebe Waller-Bridge may play a part in an upcoming Tomb Raider TV show for Amazon. Sources from Hollywood Reporter indicate that DJ2 Entertainment will be working with Amazon in a rights deal for a TV series that will involve Waller-Bridge. Waller Bridge is set to write the scripts as well as serve as the executive producer. This is really exciting for us as we love Waller Bridge's work on Killing Eve and Fleabag, along with their contributions of much needed humor and energy into James Bond's film No Time to Die. It's surely something to look out for. I mean, we really wouldn't mind more Lara Croft and more well written video game adaptations in general. The third season of Gundam Evolution, labeled Defensor, is coming out. At the center of it all is that the Hyperion Gundam Unit 1 from the Seed X Astray manga is finally getting some love. And you'll love it even more as the Gundam features a barrier defense that makes it perfect to lead the front lines. Of course, with the Hyperion Gundam comes the signature Armure Lumiere Light Wave Shield in the form of a G Maneuver skill. That's definitely gonna rile up some enemy formations. Sure, we have a sh ton of mobile suits that we'd really like to see in the game, but it's also kind of nice that some of the lesser known designs are getting some recognition. So basically, it's a great time to play with friends this month as the update lets you earn 150 MG every week until the 1st of March, as well as a daily supply pod ticket until the 8th of February. That and a whole lot of tweaks and balances that should definitely come with the update. But wait a minute, the Hyperion Gundam was just the beginning, as we'll be getting two more playable mobile suits this coming March and April. This was confirmed in the livestream mission briefing event last January 29. Bandai Namco has been very committed to this game since its release last September, and these efforts really put us in the mood to get back in the cockpit. So the Electronic Entertainment Expo has been trying to make a comeback since the start of the pandemic, but it was reported by IGN through multiple sources that Xbox, Sony, and Nintendo may not make it to what was historically one of the major events in the gaming industry. You're breathtaking! Meaning we won't be getting any large gaming booths and no high-profile press conference from the three major players. Sony, however, already had a history of skipping the major game event, but Xbox and Nintendo were almost always there. Xbox especially, since they're on the board of the Entertainment Software Association, who are the organizers of E3. With so many highly anticipated titles for all three manufacturers, it's quite disheartening to see this happen to the once industry staple event. Will this really be the end of E3 this time? No one can say for sure, but for now, it seems that it may be a while before it returns to its former glory. What do you guys think about the news regarding E3 and all the other stuff? Let us know in the comments below. Till then, this is Game Aid Information Station, signing off.